the most significant thing that I discovered in the course of my life of research was that Sri Lanka's montane forests in the highlands, in the central highlands, are extremely fragile. We tried over a period of about 20 years to restore a piece of forest on a former tea plantation and basically failed. So unlike in Yala, for example, where if you cut down 100 acres of forest in Yala, within 20 years you'll have pretty good forest growing all by itself again. In the highlands of Sri Lanka, it will never come back, not for many centuries. And so those forests are really important to conserve. Hi, I'm Rohan Pethiagoda and I think most people think of me as a biodiversity scientist, someone who goes around exploring and discovering stuff in Sri Lanka's forests and ecosystems. Most of the work I've done has focused on discovering species, especially species that other people haven't paid much attention to, like freshwater fishes and frogs and crabs, and small animals. The other part of my work has been, of course, trying to discover the dynamics of montane forests, the forests of Sri Lanka's highlands, and how we can conserve these. Most people think of threats to biodiversity coming from people cutting down forests or from climate change and so on. There's a more fundamental threat, and that is that there is a big gap between civil society and the state. The fact that these two don't mix, we don't, don't meet anywhere, means that people are distanced civil society is distanced from the objects of conservation. As we urbanize, people have fewer and fewer opportunities to connect with animals. We need to give opportunities for people to connect with wildlife, with animals. And a lot of young people are doing this now by way of bird watching or butterfly watching or taking an interest in a school nature club. The trajectory of the country is in a really good direction when it comes to conservation. The thing we need to recognize, in Sri Lanka we have a great strength, and that is the cultural environment of the country. Sri Lankans have a natural affection for life. People don't like killing things. People will stop on the street to let a small lizard cross the road. That doesn't happen in many other countries. I think Sri Lanka's got a lot going for it for conservation. We just need to fine tune it. Looking back at our history of 75 years uh, since independence, looking at the mistakes that successive generations have made, including my own generation, we can imagine what mistakes we made. We can analyze where we went wrong and try not to repeat those same mistakes. Learning history, looking back at the mistakes we made especially and the things we got right, like free health and free education, will lead us in a better direction looking to the future.